This is Dr. Mike Natter here with Board Vitals. I'm here to talk a little bit about some questions from the Board Vitals question bank from the internal medicine questions. Let's jump in. A 55-year-old male with hypertension is started on Olmosartan for hypertension. He has no other medical problems. A basic metabolic profile and electrolyte panel are checked one month later. Which of the following findings is common? A. Hypernatremia. B. Hyperkalemia. C. Hypoglycemia. Or D. Hyperphosphatemia. So this question is really getting to the heart of understanding, first of all, what the drug is, what its mechanism of action is, and understanding the RAS system. First, looking at the, at the suffix of this medication, we see that it's a sartan. And sartans are usually ARBs, ARBs, and they're in the family of ACEs and ARBs. Both of these drugs are going to interrupt the RAS system. The RAS system is active in, in states when our body believes that it, has, that it needs more volume in the tank such as times of hypotension. Similarly, folks who have hypertension secondary to, to heart failure may also see that effect. So our kidneys are spitting out renin. Renin is gonna to go to the liver. The liver is then gonna take angiotensinogen, convert it to angiotensin one. Angiotensin one is then gonna to go to the lungs. The lungs are gonna make an enzyme called ACE. ACE will then take angiotensin one to angiotensin two. Angiotensin two in exchange is gonna do a handful of things one of which is it's going to go back down to where the kidney is, go a little bit above, and go to the adrenal cortex. The first layer of that adrenal cortex is going to be where aldosterone is going to be secreted from. And in the setting of, of angiotensin II, aldosterone will be secreted. Aldosterone, under normal physiologic circumstances, is going to go into the nephron. It's going to, to bring in sodium, and water will follow sodium, and it's going to dump potassium. When we bring in sodium and water follows, we've now refilled our tank. Our preload is gonna go up, our, our blood pressure is gonna go up as well. Now, if we disrupt that with an ACE or an ARB, the reverse will be true. So instead of dumping potassium, we will actually be retaining it. So the answer to this question should be hyperkalemia or a high potassium level. Once again, this has been Dr. Mike Natter with Board Vitals, and that is the question.